How's it going, Short Kings? It's week two. We're 1-0, and, oh, and we got to go on the road to Lake Havasu City to take on the Giraffes of Western Arizona. We barely survived last time against Air Force, a three-point win. Um, this will be the season opener for the Giraffes. Uh, Herb Street's going to take them. I can't say that I blame them. A- minus for their overall, and they went 11-3 last year, won their bowl game, and won the Mountain West. Uh, ignore the fact that it says their rival is UConn. The best news for us is that uh, Savannah Stadium, where the Giraffes play, only a C-plus grade in the toughest places to play list, and uh, an average attendance of just under 15,000 people. We'll go ahead and get our recruiting out of the way, and I accidentally took him off, uh, off video, but uh, the, we had an 80 overall cornerback, and Alabama got him insta-committed after one week, so not looking good. Still decent leads, and uh, this week, let's go ahead and just offer scholarships to everybody. Get those points. Hope that we can hold on, because there's only so much that we can do. I looked. Um, not a huge amount of people that we can look at. Uh, I'm honestly a little bit worried. Well, so that's our recruiting points for the week. Uh, there's two more guys that we haven't offered scholarship to. Honestly, these guys would be better as walk-ons, but uh, we're still going to offer them when we get the chance. We do have the lead with a couple of guys. Uh, Josh Timmons, a punter, is going to be huge to get, so excited about that one. And then Dominic Brigham, Juco guy uh, out of Texas, and he's a 75 overall. Uh, really quick as well, so even though he's a Juco guy and basically a, a couple-year loan, it would be incredible to get. All right, let's just get right into this one. We'll see what uh, away juicy we get, and we'll go random on the pants as well. I guess we're just standard aways. 93 overall for the drafts compared to our 75. Their offense at a 93, their defense at a 92, and uh, we, we have a little bit more of an advantage on offense than defense, but it's going to be a difficult one nonetheless. The top players, uh, we're going to see Ben Medley, I think it's Guy Hendricks and RJ Huff as the top players for the drafts in the, wow, pretty solid there. Uh, in the 90s overall, this is going to be tough. Well, our top players again, Richie Kirk, Talib Noel, and Rick Penn in the low 80s. Now, as we go through this game, uh, we're going to try a slightly different editing style on this video. I'm going to cut out some, you know, fluff plays that don't matter either, you know, you know, inconsequential runs or incompletions to try and shorten these videos. I'd like to get them a lot closer to 20 minutes. We are in Lake Havasu City at Savannah Stadium. Uh, the stands are full. There's like five of our fans apparently that traveled. And we're going to go ahead and just win this coin toss. So hopefully the sweltering heat of Lake Havasu City doesn't kill us. And we'll kick the ball off. Try to get it in the third quarter if we haven't succumbed to the heat. Donnell Jolly gets a boot on it, but this is going to be a returnable kick. Remember... Really solid team here for Western Arizona, and oh no, that's a good return. We cannot be allowing that. Tim DeRuder, apparently Western Arizona has a new head coach here. This will definitely be an interesting one. Oh, they go screen pass right away. And I just completely whiffed on a, a tackle. Kingsley Manning, what an absolute stud of a receiver making that first catch. On the next first down, wow, dude, I, we can't tackle right now. Garen Vincent has this one, and just like that, they're inside their red zone. 35 yards through the air. I'm not going to lie, we played Madden on stream today, and that's why my tackling's a little off. Go to the air again, and Rick Penn gets dusted by Kingsley Manning. This could be a long game for the Dwarves. That was just way too easy. Um, we got to figure something out. Well, the Giraffes managed to score incredibly quick. Let's see if Gene Nunez has a little magic in him today. Gene, diving tackles, saving what could have been a touchdown. Oh, that hurts. You got to keep in mind that Richie isn't all that accurate. 
but he's got a man. Oh, he had Khalif James wide open. We're going to try to get positive yards on second down here by handing it off to Irby. And why does he seem so slow? Third and six. I kind of got to hope that Gene Nunez can beat the coverage here. We don't have a whole lot going on for us. I see nothing. We're just going to yeet it up and there's, yeah, nothing that we could do on that one. Drafts. Have yet to go to the ground yet, uh, but well, okay. Ben Medley's throwing that one away. Be curious to see when Huff's gonna get involved here. Not on this play. They just go to the air, they find the running back, we'll make the tackle, but it's third and short. We brought pressure up the middle, nothing there. Huff breaking tackle after tackle, and he got 19 yards there. The Blitz did seemingly nothing on that play as the Giraffes are just gonna go into uh, hurry up on us. Second and six. They go to the air again. And Ben Medley's scrambling this time, and he gets the stiff arm cheese for the first down inside the 15 yard line. Second and seven. They'll go to the air. I left RJ Huff wide open. And that's a first and goal inside the five. Gotta hope for the best on this one. First and goal. There we go. Ethan Lyrer getting nothing done there. We could see a run to the edge here. Or they can just fall start. That's very beneficial for us. Being backed up to the nine. They're going to go into a normal f formation. They bring a man in motion. And... Oh, somebody's got to make a tackle here. Goodness. RJ Huff managed to get back to the line of scrimmage there. Third and goal. I absolutely expect to see them go to the air. They will. And all the time in the world, the user pick! Benjamin, does he have the speed? No, he got absolutely obliterated there. But we get the interception in the end zone. So we get bailed out by the defense. And now it's time to see if we can utilize the speed of the uh, the offense. And that'll be nice. Richie Kirk with a fantastic run there. We'll look for something here on second and ten. Although I'm not expecting anything. We do potentially have McMillan open. And he holds on to it. Nice throw that time from Richie. Keep going with the read option. Irby. Okay, making some moves. Getting across the 40. First and 10. I'm calling the four verts. And we've got G. Nunez. It's a shame he couldn't make a move there. Oh, Khalif has the one-on-one. -on -one. Can't get the user catch on it. We're two of six through the air. Third and nine. Big third down here. Oh, my gosh. I s there was guys open, but I didn't throw it soon enough. With a four-mile-an-hour wind coming against us, the game didn't think that I could make this. We got a hold of it, though. And we had at least another five yards on that one. Could be in trouble. Ben Medley deciding to do a little bit of throwing. Oh, I thought Benjamin maybe had a chance to get to that one, but they find Garen Vincent again. Quarterback scrambling. We're going to lay the hit stick on Ben, but he gets across the, the, the 50 there. Wasn't expecting to have to do this, but we're going to have QB spies now. And they went at me. Almost was in position. That's Nehemiah Bobo with the catch. Western Arizona is going to continue to throw. And again, beat me through the air. Well, thankfully, it's the end of the first quarter. We've got a chance to breathe. Only down uh, four right now. And we get, do get the ball to start the second half. But we need to find the end zone soon. We're going to sell out on the blitz. Second and one. RJ, gosh, he almost got it with that stiff arm cheese again. This is real risky. We go for it on third and inches, and we're going to stop Benjamin Medley. He had the uh, the pitch there to Huff, but just didn't take it. And that field goal is, wow, way good. They could probably hit from 60 if they needed to. You know, if we could hold them to field goals, I'd be okay with that because at some point, Gene Nunez is going to break off a kick return is my thought. We already know he's a cheat code. He just needs a couple of blocks to help improve it. I guess it helps that this uh, Western Arizona team is real fast, but this one's coming back. That's a shame. So we're back at the 14 to start this drive. What the hell? Gene Nunez. I don't know if you can see it, but Gene Nunez was just... <laughs> he was zigzagging down the field. Richie did scramble for the first down successfully, and I'm going to make a real risky throw, but we find Khalif James. He fumbled it. Gene Nunez will pick it up. We got lucky there, and we're across midfield. First and 10. We're going to have to continue to go to the air, and risky throw. Again, we find Khalif James. He held down to that one, though. 
If we win this game, it's going to be a miracle. Uh, because no matter what, this ranking for the Western Arizona team is too low. The Giraffes are absolutely going to finish with a better rank than what they're starting at. McMillan making a play. Going up and mossing his man for 30 yards there. Look at how undersized he is on that route, but just gets up there and says, no, this is mine. We lose three yards, and now there's a chance for a big old bra moment. But uh, Richie is going to get in on the ground. Did not want to throw the interception there. So just like that, with 318 left in the half, we're going to tie this ball game up. First and 10. They're going to go to the air again, and just uh, Nehebiah Bobo looking good on that reception. Oh, third down. We read the, the run, but just couldn't get the right angle. Wow, didn't expect a run there. RJ again gets the carry and another 10 yards. With so little time left in the half, I'm expecting to see them pass, but I mean, I guess if you're running for 10 and 11 yards every time you touch the ball, clock's not going to matter too much. Two minutes to go down. Now they will throw it. And Ben Medley taking a sack there. Deontay Alford gets his first sack of the game. Benjamin Medley scrambling again. He takes another hit. I don't think they call it a sack, but it's another good one. Third and ten. Minute and a half now. And trying not to get beat deep. I see guys all over the place, and we sack him again. Let's take a timeout here. Fourth and 16. The good news for us going into this play is that Richie Kirk is hot and Gene Nunez is warming up. We might try to find that connection. Kirk outside the pocket. We're going to yeet it up for Nunez. Oh, whoa. Way inaccurate. Uh-oh. Somebody's got to get open on one of these plays. They bring pressure. Flanagan step on his man and makes the catch through the contact. 39 yards. And we got to bring the hurry up. A minute and three to go. We probably could have clocked it. There should be another man open. McMillan. Oh, this is fantastic. My one hope here is that we don't score too quick. Khalif James. Bruh. Oh, no. Well, we're not scoring too quick. That's for sure. They're going to go with the screen. Maybe we can tackle Huff in the backfield. And it's like Western Arizona is content with uh, running the clock out here. So they let the clock burn out. 10 all going into the locker rooms. They just got bailed out that we didn't score through a bad pass. The corner strike route. But I am more than happy to be tied up going into these probably awful away or visiting lockers. It's halftime. So well, we can't bring you any sponsors. <laughs> we can't bring you some interesting plays. Uh, they scored way too quick early. We answered back by... Like going three and out and then getting an interception, kicking a field goal, forcing a field goal and scoring a touchdown. So I feel like the momentum is definitely on our side right now. Always going to bring these out with Gene Nunez. It would be a waste to not give the man an attempt. Although that one doesn't work in our favor. Actually, this is going to be another clipping, isn't it? Oh, well, then it does work in our favor. Free 15 yards will be at the 35. But we need Richie to be on point in this half if we want to stand any chance. And we need our receivers to make catches like that. Good one from Khalif. See what Richie can do. We got the timing route to Gene Nunez. Oh, I had to use him to get close to it. Can't hang on. Now, we've been unsuccessful so far in our two previous third downs. They're bringing pressure. We'll find Khalif James. He's not got enough for the first, though. So we're going to go for this on fourth and one. We're out of field goal range. We're too close to punt. So it's going to be a pass. They're bringing a lot of pressure. We've got McMillan. And, man, he is having a, a great game for us. There's another 11 yards. First and 10. And this one off to Talib, And his first decent carry of the day gets three yards. And now we've got another third down. Let's go ahead and... Hot route McMillan, so he actually goes to the line. Same thing with Gene Nunez, and hopefully we can make a good pass here. Gene, oh no. We're going to have to go for this on fourth down again. Had to use her and make sure that didn't have a chance of get, getting picked. Bad news for us, this game is going to head into the night here soon, it looks like. You're going to see why this stadium is so special. The irradiated hills are going to make themselves on full display as Kevin McMillan gives us a first and goal. All things considered, Richie Kirk having a good time so far. 
We're perfect in the red zone as a team, and we've got a wide open Irby. Who gets us to about the one? We'll see where they spot the ball. We're at the one yard line. Look at the size difference between both teams. We'll see if Richie can get in. And he does. We just get that, that lower center of mass on our side there. For the most part, it feels like we have the giraffes figured out on offense. What we need now is for the defense to go out and win this game. And Benjamin Medley scrambling for 17 yards won't help. First and 10, they go to the air again. And it again, it's Ben Medley scrambling. I just whiffed. Camera's going crazy, and Ben gets 14 more yards. That means it's time to uh, rush three and spy one. Medley takes off. The spy hits him, and he only gets two yards that time. We almost had a sack on that last play. Here's a screen, and Powell gets him in a third down. If we could hold him to a field goal here, that would be massive. On third down, it's a draw. I saw that one coming, and we're going to stop RJ Huff. He'll lose two yards. Fourth and six. They bring out the field goal team, and we're going to bring out our punt return team. Uh, especially because of that. A little false start will help us. And now they're going to punt. Well, that's uh, unfortunate for them. And really, it's unfortunate for us. That was a eater of a kick. Did he get the coffin corner? He did not. That's a touchback, which means 59 seconds left in the third. And we're moving the ball. Time to maybe burn some clock off the uh, game here. This should likely be the final play of the third quarter. And, oh, never mind. Didn't complete pass. Line bats it down. And one of the problems of being so short. Barely got the playoff in time. I was going to call a, uh, a pass. Or a run. Sorry. But... We weren't going to be able to get it, and now we're going to have to punt it away. End of the third quarter, we might go for this to start the fourth. This would be a massive upset for us. So I'm going to do everything in my power to, to get this fourth down, and to win big games, you got to make big plays. And we're going to take a sack. Well, Western Arizona making big plays. Well, we've gifted the Giraffes fantastic field position. The question is, can we... Take it away from him or hold him to another field goal attempt. No matter what, I still kind of like our position. And Penn. Oh, I thought he could knock that one loose. First and 10 from the 11. This is going to be a draw. Again, I don't know why they're trying these draws. And RJ Huff after that one. A little bit shaken up. RJ averaging over 5 yards per carry. But him being out means Ethan Lyrer will have to come in. And now it's 2nd 11. And Ben scrambling again, and that's why we have the QB spy. A couple of big hits, and now it's third and long. Got to watch for a potential screen here. They won't. It's actually a pass. I was beat for a second. Plenty of time. All the time in the world for Medley. And he's going to find a man in the end zone. No pressure bringing there. Couldn't find the pressure. And it's a tie ball game. 4.46 to go. Could be considered a... Tactical mistake going for it earlier. Check our hot, our offensive line starting to heat up. Richie Kirk apparently still hot, which is fantastic. And there's G Nunez. Oh, if he gets into open space, he could be gone. First down, passing again. Oh, look at this. Wide open Flanagan. He's across midfield. Not able to make a move, but we are moving the ball. 420 to go. <laughs> they are. Oh man, my right bumper just ran out of bounds. Richie making some moves with his legs. Let our wide receiver just walk out of bounds. Seems like a foolish mistake there. Not bringing pressure. Risky throw. Khalif James steps under the man. And we're inside the 25. We're going to try the draw here. Not typically a play that works for me. But Talib getting a few yards out of it. Third and six. This is a dangerous play for us. I'm going to get outside the pocket again. Richie's going to run. Oh, plenty of space. This is an easy first and goal. Sliding downs to stay inbounds and continue to burn this clock. Just over two minutes to go. And in field goal range, we are going to run the draw. And Talib Noel on the mid draw, taking it nine yards for the touchdown. Hopefully we haven't left Western Arizona with too much time on the clock. This is a very big drive. We'll expect a lot of passing. They're going to go with the screen right away. And I think that's Deontay Alford dropping a huff for a loss of four. Benjamin Medley has only had three incompletions as they go with the screen again. And he gets the stiff arm cheese that time, but still behind the original line of scrimmage. And if you look in the background now, 
You can see why I mentioned that uh, this is a weird place to play. It's nighttime, but the hills are still glowing. Hopefully that doesn't bite us in the ass. Third and 11. I thought they were running another screen again, so I left my spot, left Kingsley Manning wide open to just turn into uh, a bowling ball. Minute and 27. They'll go to the air. Kingsley, or Benjamin Medley running again. Only gets two yards. Clock will keep moving. They do have all three timeouts, though. And at what point do the, uh, the drafts start taking those timeouts? That's a sack. And they finally take a timeout. Defense has so far been what I would say is stellar. Medley all the time in the world. You know, I saw Manning coming across, but he drops it through the contact. I think that was Frederick making a play. Fourth and 11 game on the line here. He's going to throw it deep. And Kingsley comes down with that one. Oh, they're at the 30. Ben threw that one up into double coverage, and it didn't even matter. And he throws that one away. 43 seconds left. We could be in big trouble if this one goes to overtime. Another ball thrown away, third and 10, 40 seconds now. Medley is being very safe with the balls that he's throwing right now. But he's almost out of time for that. It's going to be another fourth down. Clock will be moving. They can't spike the ball. They're losing time here. Curious to see if we're going to see a timeout. They don't use it. They go to the end zone. And Rick Penn, it's Kingsley Manning. He's too tall to cover in the end zone. 17 seconds to go. And Western Arizona is going to tie this one up. We had pressure on Ben. I thought Rick Penn might have been able to go up for it, but he just ran past Kingsley. And while we came, honestly, pretty close to blocking that one, it's 24-all, and it looks like this is headed to overtime. I've been calling it an all game. At this point, I'm not feeling too confident, especially having to return these from so deep in the end zone. But Gene Nunez eh, trying to make a move. Just gets out past the 20. We really hope their safeties play this well because we're going to take shots deep. And Flanagan can't moss into triple coverage. No deep safeties this time. Does Gene Nunez have the step? No, dude, these guys are so quick. Three seconds to go. We'll throw up a Hail Mary. The thing here is I don't think we have the arm strength to throw it super deep. So we got to hope that somebody comes free. They're not defending it very well. Two guys there. Oh, no, we throw a pick. If we throw a pick six here, it might be the end of my my world here. But uh, we're going to go into overtime. Ball was underthrown on that one. 24 all at the end of regulation. Means we're headed into some extra time here. We're going to go with tails again. And uh -oh, we're going to be starting on offense is what it looks like to me. We'll see what defense is going to budge first. No, uh, no time to really worry about. Gonna get uh, Richie outside the pocket, and we're gonna scramble. Quick, uh, quick bit of yardage there, second and in inches. Didn't quite get the first. The less that we have to throw, the better. I'm having to sit in this pocket for a long time, though. Richie, just get rid of that one. Ooh, almost took the sack. Couldn't take the intentional grounding, so we got lucky there. And on third and in inches, we'll hope for the best. We got to leave Noel. For a first and goal, at about the six is where they should spot that. That was a, that was a nice move from Talib. The mid draw worked incredibly well before. It looks like they're gonna bring pressure. And well, Talib maybe got a yard out of that one. Second and goal, go into the air, scrambling, scrambling. Richie just barely short on the dive. It's third and goal from the inch line. The QB sneak worked last time we were out here. We're going to see if Richie can do it again. I believe I can fly. Diving over the line and he's in for the touchdown. What a jump there from Richie to get over everybody. He holds on to it and we strike first here in overtime. Extra point is good. Let's see if the defense can come out and do their job. The defense has made stops but not in clutch time yet this game. And you know what? We'll take that. They get two yards. Second down. That'll be a handoff. Bad coverage for me, but Young is there to make a huge hit. It's third down. Even with the formation, absolutely expecting them to go to the air, and they will. I see guys open all over the field, but Nehemiah Bobo gets the catch and is out of bounds. Fourth and three. The giraffes are five wide right now, which can only mean they're going to pass. Coverage. It's a sack. The game is over. 
the dwarves get the upset on the road in Lake Havasu City. And what a big hit. We only rushed three that time. The coverage was there. We will win it in overtime by a touchdown. Benjamin Medley put up almost everything that the giraffes had, but it wasn't enough. He can't get it away there. We get another sack. Richie ends up going 20 of 35. 276 yards, 57% with a long of 39. Richie's our leading rusher as well with 74 yards and three touchdowns on the ground. Herbie having a tough time. Three carries for 25 yards, but it was uh, they were hard fought. The receiving core showed up this game. Kevin McMillan, our redshirt freshman, getting six catches for 84 yards. No receiving touchdowns, but uh, Khalif James will get 67 more. And Howard Flanagan getting 68 himself. On defense... Gabe Holland, Kendrick Evans, and Deontay Alford picking up sacks alongside Frank Benjamin, who also picked up an interception and is absolutely clutch. Has to be our defensive player of the game. As a team, only 40% on third downs. We did decent on, uh, on fourth downs. We actually held them to a worse third down percentage. Total offense-wise, we end up winning that battle. We lose the turnover battle because of that Hail Mary at the end of the half. We weren't able to return a punt. Our kick return game wasn't that great. We will barely win out the time of possession battle. But in the end, it's the score at the bottom that matters. Sweating till the end. North Main State prevails in overtime against Western Arizona 31-24. to oh, And that makes back-to-back -back close games for us. If the whole season ends up being this close, I can't imagine that we win them all. But at the very least, it should be pretty entertaining. After that display, the punter Josh Timmons is ready to visit. And we get a bunch of XP. More importantly, we're heading into a bye week here. So after a couple of close games to start the season, we'll get a week to rest before continuing through this onslaught. We're going to save the bye week recruiting for next episode. But as a look forward, we have Kansas State as our third game and it's another one on the road as we'll head to manhattan kansas but that's gonna do it for this episode let me know what you thought of the new uh, editing style kind of a more abridged version of these games hopefully it keeps the episodes a little bit more exciting and shorter so that you're you know able to watch them all the way through more easily if you want to see some more ncaa or maybe even a little bit of madden Head on over to our Twitch channel at twitch.tv slash poonmaster69, where we're live throughout the week. Otherwise, feel free to subscribe. Regardless, my name is Poonmaster. You guys are the Short Kings, wherever you are. Have a good night or have a good morning, and we'll see you later. Adios.